drama at the start of the second race here at Paul Ricard as we got underway was Vincent Abreu and Louis Prent that would lead us off down towards turn number one but sadly for Lazarus Racing they would once again find themselves facing the wrong way at turn number one as contact was made with Jens Liebhauser here and that saw Stefano Coletti going around it was the end for both of their races as the rest of the field would charge off to go away and fight for the win this was the other Lazarus car of Yannick Mettler trying to wait but they make their way back through this was one of the many talking points as they cut across the chicane didn't get the place back and they were later gone to receive a penalty this was one of the big talking points the two optimum motorsport cars don't think they'll enjoy watching that one back one of them ended up facing the wrong way they would go on to finish second and third in the pro-am class though this was Stefan Ortelli. He provided a lot of the entertainment while he was out there. Of course, former Le Mans 24-hour winner. Then we have the pit stops. This was Enrique Chavez coming in to hand over to Miguel Ramos. Vincent Abreu would then hand over to Louis Brett and went go on to take the victory. Number 26 would make its way back through the other team, Lazarus car. It was a puncture, sadly, for one of the Terry Martin motorsport cars with Hahn in. This was Nicky Lutweiler running out of talent as uh, he would find himself facing the wrong way. Make it worse, he would go and stall the car. This was then the fight for the Pro-Am lead, the moment Christian Klein took the lead in the Pro-Am class ahead of Angelo Negro. The two Optima motorsport cars behind got themselves onto the podium, but the win would go to AF Porsa, the second season and this was the moment they came across the line Louis Pret to claim the victory in race number two here at Paul Ricard. <laughs>